Thank you very much. My name is Kansela Mangena Maribe. I am the mayor of Greater Zanin Municipality. I'm part of the generation of councillors from 2016 to 2021. As a municipality, when we assumed office in 2016, we then took very critical decisions in order to change the lives of our people as mandated by the manifesto. But one of the most critical decisions that we took was to make sure that in terms of service delivery and infrastructure development, we were going to spread objectively across the four clusters of Greater Zanin Municipality. Those clusters are Relela, Ranimate, Lesedi, and Gulamaklo. We understand that in some clusters there might be still concerns that uh, certain villages or settlements are not necessarily covered as per the expectation. But that is highly noted and we know that we are running with the speed of lightning to make sure that we cover almost everyone as objective as possible. We're just going to reflect briefly on the list of the, of the work that we've been doing as evidence that the work has been done throughout the clusters and to make the community aware that there's a lot of work that has been done. In the Lestedi cluster, we have built a very beautiful road that connects the people of Lenyanyi uh, via Mujedrini to Kujuan. The, the new cemetery of Lenyanyi is also accessible because of the new road. If you looked at the quality of the road, you'll be able to confirm that uh, we are hard at work and really living to the expectations of the people. We have also been able to deal with the uh, Kodesa to Hane Road. It had some issues, legal battles, but we are excited that today the road has resumed after the court pronounced that uh, we should be able to proceed with the road and give people services. We have also been able to build one of the most beautiful tax ranks in Nguangkua. Similar tax rank has been built in Ninyanyi, just at the entrance. We have taken a decision as council that what we wanted to do was to make sure that there is a bar, we are creating a balance in terms of service delivery on especially these townships where we have got rate payers because our objective is that we want to make sure that the, resi the residents who are rate payers are actually happy or satisfied with service delivery in order for them to, to happily pay the rates and help the municipality scoffers to grow in order to provide even more services. We have taken a decision that uh, the problems of the Nkwankwa Cemetery and the Rinyanya Cemetery must become a thing of the past. If you go there today, you'll find that there's much work that has been done augmenting that we have already done to make sure that those things are accessible and easy to use for our people but also clearly protected. We are also putting Apollo lights in various places. It is important to note that uh, most, mostly Apollo lights are a reaction to particular spots which are crime ridden. We've done so at Kujuana, we've done so in Dan. Dan was notorious for crime activities. We have put some polar lights and will continue to put more as advised by the SAPS or the security cluster. But it's also our pleasure to announce that in all offices of Royal Armed Houses, we have put a polar lights as per the instruction of the Premier of the province of Limpopo and we are going to continue to put in other remote areas. The Matabatuli Sega Road is found in 134, Lepebadi. Very slippery, muddy, and just bad. Today, immediately the road is completed and we have ended it over. We'll be proud that young children will be able to go to school, people will be able to access clinics, etc. In Ulama Cluster, we have been able to build a very beautiful quality infrastructure, a road from Miyakayaka via Begastorp to Mafaran. For those who know Mafaran, would know that over a period of time, those people were just locked out of economic activities and the world because of the poor conditions of the road. The other important road that we've been able to build 
it's a road that leads to it's a it's a ring road that leads to a place called Marmofas. In that space, there's a school called Ramulige. There's Nelson Ramulige High. That school was completely performing low to the extent that children were running out from that school because of poor performance. And the main reason, accessibility. Today, things have changed. We have built a road that is awaiting handing over to the community and use. But also there is a, a pedestrian crossing road that crosses over the Tabina River. One of the biggest rivers. It would have been too expensive and impossible for the municipality to build a proper crossover bridge. And that's the reason why we, we built a pedestrian crossover bridge just to allow kids and other people who are going to Lenyanya for services. We have also, we are busy with building a, a, an infrastructure in Pararawa 28. It's, also a, a, it's almost a nine kilometer road, which will help the people of Pararawa to have access to other services outside their, their own area because that is virtually being impossible. Upon completion, those people will be able to access two main roads, one that leads to, to Gororo and one that leads to town in Zanin. But also, we are happy to announce that the Department of Public Works and Infrastructure is in the process of building the long-awaited road of Dr. C. N. Pablo Hospital via Para. That road will be built. It is a priority number two in terms of the plans of the department and we are looking forward. It's not for this financial year. At the time when they have got money, but we know that they have got that particular priority. There are also two stadiums there uh, that have been built in the prior uh, years and the municipality has been able to revamp them because it is part of their assets to make sure that it is revamped. In the Relela cluster, uh, which is very mountainous, uh, inaccessible in many, many, many ways, we have taken a deliberate action and if you can be able to observe, almost all the words currently would be saying they are able to access at least the service or to in relation to the roads infrastructure because that's one area where there's a dire need. The mobile access road is almost complete, awaiting handover to the communities. For those who know Mobile High School, you know that uh, during examinations, uh, teachers were carrying exam packages, working on food, which is as a high risk, but also the people were not able to access a lot of things. The Rallela, community, Rallela village, we have built a very long road, which we believe is assisting young kids to go to schools, but also assisting people to access graveyards and other key services, transport, public transport, as we speak today. If you want to see one of the most beautiful uh, infrastructure ever built by Greater Zane Municipality, you go to Rallela Community Wall. It's big, it's beautiful, up to standard. And we believe that the people there are able to use it to do the work that they want to do, including church services, other community services, funerals, etc. We are proud of those kind of things that we've done. In the Rani Maid cluster, the people of Greater Zanin Municipality should know that um, we are currently busy with uh, three roads. Those three roads should have been built in prior years, unfortunately due to technical issues that were beyond our control. We could not and we had to wait up until those glitches were dealt with and we are happy to announce that the uh, work has been done. We are busy with internal streets in Mandlagazi village in 13. We are busy with uh, internal streets in Ngwameto to Mwajaheni. We are also busy with internal streets uh, in Ngamba Award 5. But we are also aware that the Department of Public Works and Infrastructure has got its own priorities about the roads which we were supposed to build but couldn't because of some technical issues that had to be dealt with. But if you want to see one of the most uh, modern, modern, modern libraries, you go to Runmade. See the Department of Sport and Agriculture has put a beautiful infrastructure there. And the same kind of a library we are reliably informed that will also be built in the Relela cluster. And that would suggest that uh, the Wulema Atlo, Relela and Ranimate would be having uh, modern libraries and we shall be awaiting for uh, the Seri cluster to have its own. 
We therefore want to thank the residents of Greater Zanin Municipality for the cooperation that we have received. As we have said in 2016, when we made a commitment that together we shall advance people's power in every community. When we said local government is in each one of us hands. Indeed, we have considered all our communities in Greater Zanin Municipality. We'd like to invite one and all to consider making sure that we register in our numbers to make sure that we are able to increase the capacity of Greater Zanin Municipality. But also on the 17th and the 18th of July, go and make sure that uh, all those who want to change their voting district are able to do so. All those who want to register as new voters must go and do so. On the 27th of October, all of us must be ready to go and vote in order for us to make sure that service delivery continues. Thank you very much.